Let y'all listen to the praise for 2020. God put this in my spirit. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Giving a shout out to Yahweh or the high, Yah's way or the highway. You were the one that uh listed this song on one of our in one of our comments. And we want to thank you for leading us to this song. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Come on in. Come on in. Get out enough time to get yourself comfortable. Amen. You want to tell us a few of the uh, Happy New Year's? My, my oldest boy want to come out there and tell y'all. The word of God say, train them up as they as they come up, they will never leave the word. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Thank you there, bro. Praise God. Just wanna just take out the time and just thank God for allowing us to come into another blessed year. Some people didn't make it, but we was blessed to make it in the new year of 2020. It was by his grace that we that he allowed us to make it. This is a beautiful day that the law has made. And God has been sharing with me <clears throat> ever since just late, late yesterday evening or beginning of the morning, <clears throat> some things that he wants you to know. And we gonna, he, you know, he put in my spirit to Start getting a, uh, a little study called awareness meeting. What that what that is, God is going to be using me and some more people that He's putting in my spirit to come on and to let you to 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 encourage you to motivate you and to let you see what the devil is trying to do to the children of God. He that have ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. But, but, but before we go any further, let's bow our head, let's bow our head down to prayer, for prayer. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come, Lord, just praising you, Lord, and glorifying you, Lord. Father, God, Lord, I'm nothing but a man, Lord, of number of filthy rags, Lord, before you. Just humbling myself and just asking you, Father God, that you will speak to me so that, that your children may hear your voice. Father God, I denounce myself, Lord, for any pride or, or any high minded for any sin. I ask you, Lord, that you just forgive me. Forgive your, forgive your people, Lord. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, it's time to get radical for you. And it's time for put the devil to open shame. Father, God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you say, Lord, that if you be lifted up, that you will do the joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we lift you up and we praise you. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen.
If you have your Bibles, you can turn to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. In the third verse and the fourth verse, that's what we will be reading from. But again, God had placed in my spirit uh, to start a, uh, a panel, uh, get a group of believers, warriors, and come together and we will be on one accord and to reveal, and he going to reveal to y'all the the tricks of the devil and what and what and what the devil is trying to do and he's going to show you how to come out of it but we as believers we have to listen with our ears not with our mind it's time for this year in 2020 to see the move of God like never before it's time for us as believers to start Time for us as believers to start getting radical for him. We could get radical for anything in the world. We get radical for that. We get radical for for football games. We get radical for uh, for for parades or anything else. Now it's time to get radical for God. Now we want to be blessed. We want God to speak to us, but yet we don't want to do what it takes for us to get in that position. And as again, and again, I'm here to share with you in 2020 is that if, if anyone If anyone, any prophet, any leaders, any uh, bishops, anyone come to you with any other gospel, but he come to you with any other gospel, and it's not the gospel of Jesus Christ that God is, that is in this book. Turn away from him. Run away from him. Like I, I, I shared with you just last year that the Spirit of God had told us that we should run to God like we run to our boo. Okay. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, third verse. Say, if our gods be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost. Four, four verse say, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shall shine unto us. Amen. And I want you to Circle or, un, or underline it, the word blind. That's what we will be, that, what, that, word, what, that word that we will be looking at. And he had me to write, Wherefore, gird up the lawns of your mind. When you see the word blind, what is the first thing that comes to you, your mind? Who gains it and when you think it, think on somebody that cannot see. This is when the word blind, and the word blind is that when we think about it, we think about that somebody can't see physically. But God is not talking about the physically. He's talking about spiritually, blindness. <clears throat> and that's what the devil don't want you to know. There's a lot of good things that God had, had me to write. 
She said, next, things that come to your mind is usually eyes because blind cannot see. Just explain that to you. You see, eyes tell us what we can do, but in our mind determine what we will do. He had me to write that to him. He had me to read it to you again. See, you see, the eye tell us what we can do, but in our mind that determine what we will do. You ever hear somebody say that, man, I made up my mind. Lord, I'm going to just serve you with it all spiritual and truth. He didn't say with your eyes. He said with your mind. This is what he gave me. God said that the devil is able to blind the mind of man and woman so they cannot understand or hear the word of God. Let me read that to you again because it, it blew my mind. God say that the devil is able to blind the mind of man and woman so that they cannot understand or hear the word of God. Let's chew on that. I like to take stuff like that and chew on it and meditate on it. That the devil has power to insert, to insert your mind in such a way that his thoughts become new thoughts. And sometimes, he says, sometimes, Persons say this is what I think. And what they do not realize is, is they are thinking what the devil thinks because Paul, because he put he put it in that, he put that in that for a very substantive thing. Okay, let's go back and read that again. He say. <clears throat> the power, the devil has the power to insert, insult your mind in such a way that his thoughts become new thoughts. And sometimes a person say, this is what I think. And what they don't realize is they all Thinking what the devil thinks because he put in he put in them there in that very suitable thing that the devil has the ability to slip into your mind and to plan more marbles that are not that or not your thought, but is his thought. That's what the devil do. That's what the devil do with he plays with our mind. He's a Lord, let's in the word let's take it a little bit more further. First Peter. First chapter, thirteen verse. Ye think that he said, he, he said, ye, the first chapter, 13 verse say, Yea, I think it me as long as I am in this tabernacle. Oh, no, I'm in second Peter. First Peter, I'm sorry. First Peter. First Peter. Not bad with me. Working with one hand. Yeah. <clears throat> 13 verse, first child, you say, Wherefore, girds up the lines of your mind, be sober, and the hope, and the hope, he said, the hope to the end. He said, the hope to the end 
and the grace that he said, he say, he, he say, wherefore grows up the lawns of your minds, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that it that is to be brought unto you, and that revelation of Jesus Christ. Read that again. Wherefore, gone up your lawns of your mind. Meaning is that girl up. Let's get it together now. Set. Set your mind. Okay. Okay. He say, uh, <clears throat> when we need to understand that we are in a spiritual battle. We are in a spiritual battle. <clears throat> Let's get this here first of all. We are in a spiritual battle. <clears throat> and you say, <clears throat> God's people, you say, God's people have not figured that. And you know, like, in other words, that God's people have not figured that in the battlefield which you and I are fighting. We need to understand if the battle in our minds, that's why Peter say, gird up the lawns of your mind. To predict your mind to strength of things that do not give a healthy mind. <clears throat> and just gonna go further with what I mean what he's trying to tell y'all. Because the battle is going to wriggle right here between the temple in your mind. Now let's understand this. Your enemy Satan most surely is a master to Strategy. He have done this for centuries. Now, he knows very well what to use to get control and emotion and my emotion for he know if he get control of our emotion, he gets inside of us. That's the reason why that when you speak to a person, when when they get so much emotion on their chest, oh no, you can't tell me that. No, they just got emotion. They just they just went from zero to seven. I mean, they just went from zero to seventy seconds, just that fast. Because Satan just got into their mind and he didn't and he didn't pull that level of emotion. <laughs> Deal with it every day. Then he say, he gets control of our emotion. And he get inside of your head then. And if he can get a strong feeling in your head, then he can weaken you. And this is what God is trying to show you. Trying to show you. If we allow the devil to, to control our emotionally, our, our physical emotion. He could get inside our head then. You ever heard of these people? I mean, you ever heard this here? You know? Man, he just be pulling different strains, man. He know how to get he know how to get next to me, boy. He know how to hit them levels. It ain't he. It's that devil. It's that devil. And if he can't get Strong feelings in your head, then he can weaken you to fight the Lord 
And we cannot give the devil one inch in our mind. Because that each time that we give over an inch, the devil one inch our mind. No, I know I, I'll give you an example. When my junior was born, well, all my kids, I told my wife, I know me. I have a lookalike. I, we know each other. We know our children. They give them cats an inch, they're going to take six miles from me every time. Well, this is the way that the devil do us. If, if we allow him to take control of our motion and get it in our head, and we give him an inch, he got you. He going to run away with it. Okay, this is what he had me to read. Because if he can get, if he can get rid of the short things, the short or one thing, if you could give the devil an inch in your mind before you know it, it's slowly and decaying. Step by step. He takes the spiritual mile after spiritual mile after spiritual miles until he gets you to a position you cannot, where you cannot draw your salvation. He will get you in that mind. He will get you in that position where you cannot even enjoy your salvation. He had me to write. You see, the devil knows what to use to get an advantage over you. He knows very well what to use. It may be long illness. It may be finances problem. Where you work as hard as you can day by day, day by day. And, and, and your work, it seems like the money don't go far enough. To keep up with the bills that you got, or it may be a relationship problem, maybe with your child, maybe with your husband, or your wife, or your heartbroken, while you go through these Things and he keep chipping away. This is what the devil do. Now that he done got into your mind, now he, he done took that inch. Now he run away. He still pulling levels. He still pulling levels. He still speaking through that ear. Now that we done just forgot about what the word of God say, gird up your mind. We just forgot all about that. We on that trip now. We just, just flipped the strip. Okay. He said, then look, he had me to write. You go through these things and he keep chipping away. <laughs> it just might be a simple loneliness. There's nothing feeling of lonely. When you feel like, when you feel all alone in the world, nobody will be bothered with you. The cares of this life, boy, just beating you up. Nobody don't want to be with me. Nobody don't want to be with me. I don't know why. But we got to realize that Jesus said, I never leave you, nor forsake you. That go that inch that the devil take. And then we'd, we'd allow him an inch in our mind. Now he's running with it now. Okay, no one care for you to be around you to think the and things and loneliness will wow a Christian down. It will tear us down if we allow the devil to keep using this lonely this lonely spirit. See all this still loneliness and with all this doubt that he's doing, that's no that's a no no that he brought it to me. Uh no that every demon is a has a personality. It's a person. It's a spirit. 
Okay. Okay, then he say, nobody loves me, okay. He say, he use all these different things, and once he get into your head, try to cause you to doubt the love of God. Man, do God really loves me? Man, God, and then he on the other side. Know that Jesus, know that the word of God is telling you, God is telling you every day. I love you, my baby. I love you, my baby. I love you, son. I love you, my daughter. Then he got that he causing you just by that we give it an inch to the devil. He's in our mind now. We got that emotion rolling now. Do he really love me, man? Because I've been going through this hill for a long. Do he really hear me? Okay. We're forgetting about the goodness now. He just blessed you with a new house. He just blessed you with a new job. And how are you letting the devil get in your head? He just saved your life. He just, he just, he just saved you. He, he just give you, he, he, the favor of God is all in your life. And he, and here is the devil just took that inch. And now that you doubting the ability to go, you doubting God. Do he really loves me? No, know that know that I have my I have my wife laughing. This is the world. Uh, listen, uh, uh, this comedy guy. And one thing that struck me, my wife was in the kitchen, and you know he was talking about his shuns. You know that the guy was saying, uh, "Cat William," he was saying that. Oh, I know that he was saying that. Are you sick? Mm-hmm. Do you have insurance? You know, and my wife was laughing at it. You know, and he say that, you know, that, that, that he say that, man, he really don't care about me. He really know about me. The devil, just like the devil, he know how to get your attention. If he could get that inch in your head to doubt the goodness of God and, and to doubt that, the, 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 I mean, the doubt, the love of God, He's going to run with it. He's going to keep chipping at it, keep on chipping at it, and keep chipping at it. This is awareness. This is why they, the Spirit of God had gave to me. This is awareness meeting at this time. Okay. Just about finished. It's getting good now. And he say. He used different... He he use all these different things, and one he get and one once he gets into your head, trying to cause you to doubt the love of God. God, I've been this like again. I just read. Really, I just say to you, God, I've been in this for so long. Do you really love me? The devil tries to get you to question. The goodness of God. He stayed chipping away. He stayed chipping away. It's like a, it's like, it's like a tooth decay. Once that little rotten tooth come in there, you got that little, that little cabinet. It just don't stay small. It grows. It's chip. It's eat. It eat. It feeds. Well, that's the way that the devil do. He slowly. He slowly chips away at your thoughts. If he could get you to question the love of God and get you to question the goodness of God, he separate you from the fellowship with God. And by doing that, he's getting deeper and deeper and deeper into your mind. <clears throat> That's his job. <clears throat> he say, this is what he want us to do. He do that because he Want us 
to stop using the weapon that God gave us that intentionally for you, I mean for us to use to win the spiritual war. God gave us weapons that we may, I mean that he gave us weapons to use. And you know, God brought that to me that yesterday as he spoke to me about when he was going to be tempted of the devil. And the devil came to him each time. Well, well, when you read that day, Jesus was going through a spiritual warfare then. But he know what know that if he's the son of God, he is the word. He is the father. Well, what do you think that what he's going to do to us? We was made in the image of him. What do you think he's trying to do now? But each time that the devil came to approach Jesus, what did he do? He put the word on him. That's what's going to sustain us, putting that word on the devil. Each time we come into your mind, we're supposed to stay focused on the things above. We're supposed to have self-control. Our mind's supposed to be on, on Christ, all on good things, heavenly things. Let this mind be in you. Each time that the devil came, Jesus put the word on him. Die, die shall not live by bread alone, but by the but by every word that is, that God say. And God, everything that God, everything that Jesus said, that Jesus put the word on him. He left. He flee. Well, that's the same way with us. We have to. Pull on that whole armor of God. This is not the time. Like God shared with y'all. I hope that y'all didn't bring anything from 2019 to 2020. Because this is the time to get radical for God. This is the time, even more so, that the true worship, the true worshipers shall be worshiped God in spirit and truth. This is the year. What God was sharing with me, this is what God is preparing me for. And whoever will, you are about to see the fivefold ministry like never before. He that have ears to hear, let him see it. Now I ain't talking about no fivefold ministry that you give you you give me three hundred dollars and everything, and you see the power of God. No, 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 no. You are about to see the fivefold ministry to the you no know, from God. God is going to use the His people that will submit to Him and give all all of His mind, soul, body, His heart, this temple to Him. You're going to see. You're going to see the dead. You're going to see the dead come up. You're going to see the lame man walk. You're going to see the sick be healed. You're going to see the time that man, the believer's going to call down the ladder of rain. You're going to see this here. He that have ears, let him, see, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. This is what God want to share with you. Gird up your love. Read that to you again. Wherefore, gird up the lines of your mind. Gird up. Let's get our mind together. Let's leave all this backbiting, fornication, or uh, being busybody. It's time to get into the things of God. We want to be blessed, do we? Well, I'm not going to preach no prosperity message because that, let's take one thing first. That's like he shared. Everybody want to walk, but nobody don't want to crawl like babies. Everybody want to eat, but nobody don't want to get the Cecile milk, the spiritual milk. Everybody want to be blessed from God, but nobody want to die to the things of this world. Let's just keep it 100.
I am the one, I am one that is, in, is, that is in this wilderness preaching that the kingdom of God is at hand. If you see first God's kingdom and get your mind right with God's word and line yourself up with God's word, all these things will be added unto you if you seek first the kingdom of heaven. Psalms 18. He cannot go against his word. God cannot lie. And he will not repent to anyone for lying. So at this time, this is 2020. If we're going to be blessed by God, if we're going to see the power of God, if we're going to see the move of God, let's do it right. Let's wash our hands from sins. The Paul say, wash your hands from wash your hands from sins. Purify yourself, ye double-minded. Draw nigh, draw nigh to me, and I draw nigh to you. Leave all these emotions off your chest, man. That that's about the trick of the devil. Every time I, every time that somebody tries to share the word of God with you, and she every we get all emotion. What you get no emotion from? Just like the word say, just like he say, if you give him an inch, he gonna take he gonna take a spiritual mile. This is not this is not a fleshly war. This is a spiritual war. He's trying to do everything he can, my brothers and sisters, to to hold us down, to make us miss from going home. But 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 we should be in this. But we should have this mind of laying. I mean, for laying down any heavy weight that may try to keep us down, so that we cannot go home. That's my main look. That's my determination, 2020. I'm laying down every weight that may easily beset me. I don't want nothing. I don't want no spot of blemish on me. I'm working on it, but I can't do it. I, I, I have to ask him to help me and believe in that. All this drama, being busy about it. Doing the, the doing the things of the flesh? No, I can't do that. Because if the Holy Spirit is in you, you wouldn't do this. Because God tells us this temple is not ours; it belongs to Him. This mind belongs to God. It don't belongs to the devil. So then, why are we letting the devil pull them pull them levels that, to let him get a, a inch? And let him keep on chipping away at us in our mind for things that we know that is not of God. Why do we allow that? Because that we still work it in the flesh. But he that is in the spiritual, he knows these things. The first is that you have to have the Holy Ghost in you because the Holy Ghost would not let you do the things that you do. Because they will lead and guide you. And many of us in everything that we got that we got to get that. We got to get filled with the Spirit. We got to get that Holy Ghost within us. We can read all the word that we want. We want all the blessings that we want. But that Holy Spirit is the one is that going to sustain us. That, that Holy Spirit, that Holy Ghost is the one that is going to keep us. It's going to teach us. It's going to tell us which way to go. We don't need that knowledge, Bible. We need that Spirit filled. Prayer. Ask God for a prayer life. When we get, when we learn how to pray, when we get that prayer life, and when we get close to God, <coughs> that become that power. He tell us what to do and what not to do. So I close on this here, my brothers and sisters, that y'all have a blessed New Year's. It's a lot of things that he's going to be bringing. And again, we're going to be asking God and be asking him for what days, how many times that he want me to bring up this awareness, this awareness meeting. Awareness meeting is that it's, it's keeping you alert of what's going on, what the devil is trying to do to the children of God. It keep us 
It keep us straightened up. It keep us in line and what we should do. With all that being said, amen and amen.